Good, how are you guys? Good. Tell us what your rating is at the end of the Six five two fifty five. Mm-hmm. And what's it like to be with the, not just you, but your brother as well, the top players in your position? What does that feel like to you? Yeah, no, it's a, it's definitely an awesome feeling. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm just happy to be here. It's just another uh, opportunity to compete against the best kids in my class and just put on a show. Have you ever seen yourself here back when you first were starting to date? Uh, honestly, it's not really something I uh, necessarily expected, like get to get to this level. Um, but I know the work I put in, and uh, I knew that it could get me to this point eventually, just not necessarily right away. Yeah, it would mean it would mean the world to me. Um, you know, just the amount of time, you know, and blood, sweat, and tears I put into that program, and the amount of love I have for that program, I wouldn't change a thing about where I went to school. And yeah, it would mean, it would mean the absolute world to me. Yeah, no, we're yeah, we're no, we're definitely uh, a quality program, and same with a bunch, of, uh, a few other programs in our conference as well. We just don't, to be honest, just don't get the respect that that I think uh, the conference deserves. Um, just, just test well and just, just compete in everything I do like I've always done my whole entire life. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, absolutely. What do you think will bring to an NFL team? Uh, just a relentless style of play, um, along with an edge. You know, every level I've been at, I've been told I'm not good enough. Uh, coming out of high school, you're not good enough to play FBS. Uh, and then going to Dayton, really, uh, you know, no one's ever been really played in the NFL. Uh, especially drafted since the 70s, um, and you know I'm, I'm here to, you know, keep fighting that and I'll always use that edge and carry it with me. They, yes, he did. Yeah. I have not yet. No, I, I look forward to eventually meeting him this week, but no, not yet. How do you think the senior ball, specifically about the senior ball, uh, maybe boost your confidence, give yeah. you a little bit of momentum coming into this year? Yeah, the senior ball, senior ball was huge for me. Um, I've always wanted the opportunity to go against kids with the. You know, the Alabama stickers on their helmet, the Ohio State, Michigan. And uh, it was it was huge for me, uh, obviously, confidence-wise. I, I never really waver in my confidence, but to go out there and be able to move people off the ball like I did um, from those type of schools, get separation like I did at my level, I just I thought I showed that it, you know, it was a seamless seamless trans transition for me. No. No, yeah, I, I sent emails to some of them and all that, just never, ever got a response. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. Just yeah, just just kind of sit down. Obviously, like talk talk about talk about dating with him and, and his experience. But uh, ultimately, talk about football. That's what we're here to do. Adam, what do you think is the biggest way you improved as a player during your time at Dayton? Uh, definitely a blocking standpoint. Um, I always had the athletic traits, uh, which is why I was able to make the transition from quarterback to tight end. But the physicality of the position was something unfamiliar to me. Um, and that just came from really taking advantage of every opportunity I had. I had a great offensive coordinator and O-line coach, and he really gave me everything I needed to be successful, and, and I just took advantage of it. Um, and, yeah, now he's the assistant O-line coach with the Raiders. So. Can you uh, talk about the dream of playing in the NFL? Obviously, your, your path here so far has not been, you know, you, some guys take the elevator, some guys take the stairs. Right? Yeah. So what would that mean, the dream of playing in the NFL would be around? Yeah, I mean – it, like I said earlier, it would mean the world, the world to me, um, and I fully anticipate it, it happening. And you know, it's something you worked your whole life for, um, and really, it's just my, been my mentality. You know, wake up, wake up to be great. Something my dad, uh, dad instilled in me, and you know, your, your success is measured daily, and do the next great thing. So, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. When, when you were sending those letters, did you expect responses, or did you just kind of shoot your shot? What was, um. Yeah, I think in a way I, I was expecting maybe a response, like maybe at least a at least a no, um, as opposed to just getting kind of you know ghosted by by some programs. But um, yeah, it was also like kind of a shot in the dark a little bit too. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I no, I never considered. Yeah, football from about my yeah, freshman year of high school on was like my main focus and I knew that's what I wanted to do uh, athletically. What went into that transition from quarterback to tight end? Was that something that, that you chose, something that your coaches told you? How did that work out? Yeah, so I was actually the one that brought it up to 
uh, to my coaches. So uh, high school wise, um, we didn't have, I played with like 18 kids on my varsity team my junior year of high school, 22 my senior year. Team concept was, uh, it was a little rough, uh, to be honest. And when I got to Dayton, you, you play non-scholarship football, no one has any egos, and you truly play for each other. And that's something that I thought was so special and I wanted to be a part of so fast. So um, yeah, I was the one that offered it up to our OC and he kind of looked at me weird like, so it was only like seven days into camp and I was like, hey, like I just want to be a part of this and I know I can bring a whole new dynamic to the tight end position. Um, and then yeah, eventually made the switch and it's the greatest decision I've ever made in my life. What was that conversation like? Was he surprised that you wanted to? Yeah. You wanted to initially play quarterback at college. Exactly, yeah. No, he was, he was definitely surprised because it was only a week, in, a week into camp too. But he was like, you know, just give us some time. Like I'll talk to the head coach. Um, but yeah, they ultimately put me down in the middle of practice. Uh, routes on area, he's like, all right, let's see what you got. Ran over route, uh, dove and caught it. And he told me to go get a white jersey and that was the end of that. Um, yeah, I mean, I had, I had help from my parents, obviously, but no, yeah, I had no, no. I, I got academic scholarships, but no, no athletic, uh, not a single penny of it, so. What do you think, uh, there's been a, several guys that made the transition to quarterback over the last couple of years. Have you taken a look at any of these guys? Did you kind of, like, just maybe try to model that transition after someone? Um, honestly, not necessarily. Um, Really, really for me, it was just finding guys that already played the position, not didn't care really about background that that I wanted to be be like and mold myself into as a player, both uh, pass game and run game wise. So uh, I do a lot. Of, I do do a lot of studying other players, but just find guys that I want to be like and and that I think I can I can be the next level. Uh, George Kill, T.J. Hawkinson. I study a lot of film um, on them. I've been doing a lot the last few months in particular. I've done some before, but more in particular the last few months on them. Those two in particular, it's just how, how hard they play. And I, that's something I've always prided myself on, especially being from a from a school like Dayton. You, you can go out there and you can go sit down at practice. Uh, a guy like me and I could still go out there, you know, and play every game and start every game and catch 10 passes, but that's not how I'm wired. And and uh, that's kind of, that's, that's what I follow every day, you know, getting better. And you can see that in how they play and go after people, especially in the run game. Um, and then obviously they're dynamic playmakers in the pass game as well. Yeah, I mean, honestly, what I learned about myself is that, you know, the comp level competition, sure, it's a, it's a jump, but it, I, did, I had no problems with it at all, and I think uh, everyone there would uh, would agree with that. I didn't think the, the transition was, was very rough. Um, I just used what I've been taught and, and how hard I've worked, all the work I've put in, and that's what I relied on, and, and it seemed to work out very well. Yeah, because you absolutely believe that you can do it. And then once you do it, it's just cement in your hand. It's like, yeah, I belong here. Um, but yeah, I, like I, like you said, I, I never really had any uh, concerns about it before, to be honest. But it was definitely something I was looking forward to, improving myself, to myself and to everyone else, really. Yeah, yeah, I think after the first few reps, I was like, all right, yeah, this isn't, this isn't any different. Um, Sure, the kids close a little faster in the pass game, uh, and they're bigger and a little more stout in the run game. But like I said, I trusted I trusted my technique and and how hard I worked, and I didn't really have a problem with it. Yeah, no, it's definitely something they harp on. Um, yeah, and and I enjoyed that that whole week. The the coaching staff. Uh, experience like they're super the what they care about you know is football and it's that's a that like it's all it was awesome to be around like just that type of passion um but yeah it was definitely technique and um you could see it too day by day from day one to day two to day three not only myself but everyone else got better as well just getting harped on for um fixing certain techniques just little things so Yeah, I would say um, like route, uh, definitely, definitely corner. Just having the freedom, you know, um, whether just to, the angle off the route. Like I, I kind of had the freedom 
you know, whether to just flatten it out or keep it high kind of thing. And, and that was definitely a, a very uh, successful route for me in college, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've met with them. Um, I actually met with them last night as well. So, so yeah, just, just getting to know them. They're just getting to know me. So I uh, look forward to future contact, obviously, with them. Yeah, no, absolutely. The, the physical aspect of it was different. I played quarterback my whole life, and, and in high school I played both ways because we had 18 kids. So I played corner as well, like the biggest corner probably ever. Um, and what they told, they're like, don't touch anyone because if I got hurt, then they would have to bring up my little brother from JV, and then they would have canceled the JV season. So, no, I was never really allowed to touch anyone. Um, so, yeah, it, it was definitely different, and – um, it has taken me time to develop, but if you look at my film from redshirt sophomore redshirt to redshirt junior to redshirt senior year, it looks entirely different. That's just kind of the focus and uh, you know determination I've worked with the last three years. So I ran Veer triple option from my freshman through junior year, and then fortunately we switched to spread senior year, so I actually could get I actually got ended up getting some some film out there in like a spread type system, which which was nice for sure. Uh, like 222, 223, I think. Yeah. Yeah, me mentally it's huge. Um, yeah, you just you can see uh, pre-snap, um, seeing tilts and safeties, uh, different alignments. Um, you know, you can you can see tendencies, and, and when you study film as a quarterback, you you get a little more in depth and everything like that, and you can kind of see triggers on people. Um, but yeah, mentally it definitely helps. You know, you go from quarterback where you have to know every single little part of every single uh, working piece of the offense, and then you go to tight end, and it's more like a narrow thing, and it's it's uh, it definitely helped in in uh, my transition. Me, absolutely, yes, sir. Um, our punter last year was pretty good, Sean Smith, actually. He plays for the Giants now. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, he, co he coached there, though. He didn't play there? No, he, I don't think he played. I know John Gruden did play there, and then he coached. But, um, yeah, those are definitely the two most famous alumni out of the football program. So. Yeah, I did a lot of that in, in college, and I feel very comfortable doing – Honestly, anywhere. I'm kind of like a ch big chess piece, um, and I don't mind if I got to put my hand in the dirt 90% of the game. Then the next game, I got to put my hand in the dirt 20% of the game. Like whatever it is, I don't, I don't really care. Um, but I do very, feel very comfortable flexed out. Oh yeah, ab absolutely. Um, tight end positions at a premium now. Everyone wants two. Um, and yeah, no, it's it's definitely a, a good time to be a tight end. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so really for me it was just kind of pinpointing targeting things that I need to get better at. So uh, football-wise, uh, I've been blessed. My agency setting us up with or setting me up with certain position coaches. So I got Ricky Prohl out there, receivers coach. He's coached or he played 17 years in the NFL, coached for five. Um, Paul Alexander, the longtime Bengals offensive line coach. Uh, he's been out there a few times to help. And then Zane Beatles, he actually just retired last year. He played nine years, never missed a snap. So I've been very fortunate to be surrounded by them, and it's just, yeah, going over film with them and then pinpointing targeting things that I need to get better at. Um, so I've definitely cleaned up a lot, and, and I think I've gotten a lot better. Uh, just, like, playing lower. Uh, pad level is a huge thing for me. So, you know, working on flexibility as well with uh, the trainers on site, so sports science lab uh, as well. They've helped, they've helped me out a lot in that regard. And then... Um, really for me, just consistency in the run game as well. Just tying my hands and feet together, uh, timing everything up, and, and just going out there and repping it over and over again. Uh, really, the, the thing that I picked up immediately, and everyone really can see this from the outside looking in, but just the, the work mentality. Um, you know, that, that's just honestly with the Lions, because obviously Patricia, or Coach Patricia has carried it over. Um, but yeah, just a lunch pail mentality. Like I, you're here to work. Like this is your this is your job, and and that's why I anticipated being obviously, and that's um, that's definitely a type of a type of franchise that I can see myself 
you know, playing for that type of mentality and attitude. Yeah, uh, George Kittle for sure. I, I love I love watching him play. So, um, just from a relentless standpoint, that's definitely uh, who I model my game after. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, yeah, I love Bryson. Uh, I had nothing, obviously, but good things to say about him, and he would. I'm sure he would say the exact same thing. But no, me, me and Bryson. I, I remember walking in the room at like 11 o'clock, 11:30 that first night, and it was like we'd known each other for for like all of college. It was it was awesome, and yeah, we still uh, now we're now you know we get to the point where you're just messing around with each other and and all that kind of stuff, joking with each other. So uh, definitely enjoyed enjoyed that experience. No, we're not. Um, but. My roommate now as well, I knew him at the Senior Bowl, so uh, great guy as well, Josiah DeGuara, so. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, like from a work mentality, I've always had that, like the finish and everything, getting after people, but the technique tying into it, obviously I was very underdeveloped in that. Um, my redshirt junior is when I could start to see it at first. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't even close up to where I am now, but I could start to see it. And then this year was when, you know, I found myself a lot of times driving guys eight, nine, ten yards off the ball and, and putting them on their back. And um, I said this at the senior bowl, I'd rather control the line of scrimmage and dominate, dominate on the line of scrimmage and move people off the ball than, than score touchdown and catch passes, honestly. That's, that's truly how I feel. Um, and I think it shows up on film, and people would believe that when I said it's not just lip service. Um, honestly, being able to, you know, basically fight with a man, another man at the line of scrimmage, and take him against his will, I don't think there's really a better feeling than that, honestly. Can you pinpoint your one most disrespectful block in your college career? Is there any one moment that sticks out? Um, yeah, so... There's a, there's a couple, actually, fortunately. Um, but I do remember one this year. Um, we were playing, I think it was Valparaiso, and we ran kind of like an inside zone bend run, and I was just based on the, on the Sam linebacker, and I, I think I drove him like 20 yards uh, laterally and like 10 yards vertically and, and just put him on his back, and the ref had to like tell me to chill out and all that kind of stuff. So when you're doing that, you know you're – you know you're getting after it, absolutely. Yeah, no, obviously, you know, I'd love to be a part of any, any franchise, any organization. Uh, I have talked with them here, though. Um, and yeah, I anticipate, to, I anticipate and look forward to continuing to develop the relationship with, with them and their coaches, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, just from watching San Francisco, um, it's a very, it's a, it's a, in a way a lot a very similar to the offense I ran. Um, I ran a full out pro style offense in college, so um, yeah, I admire, I admire watching them. I watched a lot of Lions too before the Senior Bowl as well, and they were very similar. Like, I got to the Senior Bowl and felt very comfortable in that offense. So, yeah, I mean, those t those two in particular, from what I've watched most, uh, absolutely. Time for one more question. Please. Sorry, what? Talk to the Bengals. Oh uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I really have to say too much, honestly. Uh, the senior bowl, I, I proved it, you know, just trusting the techniques and, and the effort I play with and, and the lunch pail mentality that I have. Uh, I just carried that to the senior bowl, and, and it worked out well for me.